You two hmm. founded Hyrule? And you're the king? Hmm. My name is Raru. King Raru of Hyrule. King Raru? And Queen Sonia? Uh, but that must mean... What is up guys, Zack Scott here, playing The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, and I am surprised. I checked the stats, thank you for your support. The first episode already has over 300,000 views. It's doing awesomely, and I thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. I don't know which way to go, by the way, but we are headed towards Rito area, as promised before. Uh, where, hold on, I marked it. I put like a little, I may not be able to see the, the pin that far away, honestly. But if I'm if I if I'm heading the right way right now, is that that's not the right way, is it? Hold on, where where am I going? I mean, it almost looks like I'm going the right way. Is that the right way? Maybe so. Let's go check it out. Uh, we have got to you know support. Yeah, this is the right way. We have got to you know. Oh, is that a shrine down there I haven't been to? I might do the shrine first. I don't know if I should do shrines on the order. But this is the way to go. Look, this is the way to go. I can't see my thing. I'm all over the place right now, but thank you so much for your support. I really do appreciate it. We've got to go investigate uh, what is going on, these regional phenomenon. I did four shrines yesterday. Uh, I think that's a shrine I haven't done. I think it would be a, a wise idea to start kind of doing shrines of the order they're presented. I think just to, it'll unlock more fast travel spots. It'll get me, you know, rewards, you know, things like that. So let's consider it. Let's consider it. Let's uh, boom, drop that down. Please make it all the way. You may not make it all the way. Like, oh, there we go. We're good. We're good. We're solid gold. Isha Dag Shrine. Heck yeah. Let's check it out really quick. Uh, this is just this is on the way. I don't know what we're gonna find on our way. But I'm just surprised at the success of this series. It's been a while on my channel since I had a really successful series, so I really do appreciate it. I'm going to be giving you as many episodes of this game that I can every single day. Um, I think we'll, we, we'll probably want to get on that main road after this. After this shrine. Assuming I can do this shrine. I mean, I'm always worried I'm going to stumble into something that I'm not going to be prepared for. A windy device. Okay, I think I know what we're looking at then. A windy device. That fan, huh? What do we do with just the fan? What? Do we just... Okay, so... Okay. No. Hold on. I think... I just want to, you know... If I could ever figure out how to rotate things properly in this game, that would be ideal. Is that all that we do? Uh, glide. How do you glide? No. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> How am I not not smart at games? Um. Here's obviously how to do it. Let me pull out this. So I don't. I don't want to actually throw my good one. Um. So we're going to grab this, lift it up, drop it down, and then we do recall. We rewind. This is clearly how that's done. And then, uh, just stop it, stop it, sure. And now, um, we have any, I'm sure there's a treasure chest here. I don't know where it is yet, but I'm sure it's gonna be here. So now we have, yeah, we have some water to get across. Okay, makes sense. Makes sense, and then there's a, uh, okay, I see what's going on. Uh, wrong item, of course. Ultra hand's what we're looking for. And we are looking to make a boat, basically, by putting something like this on it. So, I think that's the right way. Let's go. There we go. I was like, come on. Perfect. It's, it's stuck. 
Okay. Okay, so that thing's still going. You can chill out right now. You can chill out really quick. Stop. Okay, so I'm thinking about what to do here. Uh, I think what I do is very similar to what, what, what I just did, which is this. And then back. So we start, start. Hold on. Perfect. Probably. And then recall. No. Take it with me. Dang it. Stop. Right. Okay, great. <sighs> Alright, so this... Uh... Nice. Just stand on it, dude. Come on. Uh, recall. Let's go. Let's go up. Thank you. Stop. And then... Oh, man. I don't know if I can move this. I don't think that's going to do anything. Maybe it will. Maybe it won't. Maybe it won't. Maybe it will. All right. Awesome. That didn't... That, that was kind of the idea, but... I, th I feel like that's glued. Um, I think the real answer is this. We take this. No, 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 stop. Come back. That's the, I did the wrong thing. So I want this. If I want that to be pushing over here. Uh, let's see. Is that correct? There's going to be a way that we want to do this, I think. Sorry, I know how to do this. It's just it's just actually pulling it off is going to be a little tougher than I thought. There we go. And that'll that'll stay there, right? Can I No, no. There we go, right there. I just wonder, can I use, can I not use my glider or whatever, you know, like, like, how do I, I don't think I can just bust out a, there's my glider, I need that, how come you're not, there we go, thank you, that was so much easier than the other way, open that up, I got the treasure, finally, opal, there we go. Now, will just the wind do this? No, it won't. It doesn't seem to. In fact, it's probably pushing it away. I keep wanting to use the wind for... Okay, anyway. Just stop. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Can I, can I just lift it directly? I can lift it part of the way. I don't know if that's enough to do it all the way. Let's uh, put this over here. Is that not going to work? Why not? I'm so confused. But I'm just pacing it on the bottom. Is that really not going to work? Maybe it needs two. 
Uh, let's see. Take this. Unstick it. Am I just an idiot? Don't answer that. Okay, there you go, there you go. Wait, wait, come back. I need it too. Okay, makes sense now. I thought maybe like I just got the mechanics wrong somehow. We got the treasure here. Let's go. Let's roll out of here. We got another shrine down. I'm going to be trying to do these shrines like on the way to things so I don't have to just like pile them all into like one episode like last episode. But that worked. Skip. We know what, what happens. We get the purification process done. We get a light of blessing. We get to move on. Three more shrines and I'll have another heart. I think I'm going to go like... Maybe two hearts, one stamina, two hearts, one stamina. Maybe even three hearts, one stamina. I'm not really sure like what order to go in. But I think like a two to one ratio would be at least the, the minimum here. All right, so we're here. There is a, a, a trail that I could get on, a path, so to speak. And uh, that way I can be on my merry little way. I'm not so sure what happened here, but... Looks like some sort of a collapse. Is there anything behind me to worry about? There's a little tunnel. What is that? Hold on, I'm gonna take a peek. Is that a like a chest or something? What is that? That might be a chest. There's like a well, a chest. It is a chest. A traveler's sword. I don't need that. Um, what, what's going on? Oh, jeez! Oh, my God! Oh! <sighs> that scared me again. Oh, my God, it was barely moving. I thought, oh, man, that was scary. Oh. <laughs> Don't do it to me. All the way over there, there. Dang it. That, that one didn't scare me as much because I wasn't staring right at it. And like trying to investigate it, you know, it just happened. There's another one that's gonna go off on me, right? Uh, okay. Yeah, I see what this all this stuff all is. Wait, are those are those fairies? Oh, those are probably fireflies. Can I just go up and get them really quick? Can I do I have to like? Can I sneak up on these things? I don't remember how you used to be able to catch these, by the way. Karak Bridge Well. What? I don't think I'm going to easily get those. I got one. Sunset Firefly. Awesome. You don't need a net. Oh. Uh, sure. Grab that one, too. Got that one, too. Get out of here, bugs. Uh, uh, oh. Oh. Uh. Oh. <laughs> Um, am I, is it a good idea to fight this? Hold on, let's see what we got over here. What if I can like... What, okay, here's an idea. Let me just take uh, one of these. I'm gonna make a little cart or something. Then maybe he won't even see me when this happens. Uh, let's just... That thing is asleep, and I, 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 don't, I, I don't know if I can beat him. I don't even know if that's one of the... Is that, that might be one of the things, the monsters, that they want me to kill. This is just an idea. This may not work. This might be a terrible idea. Do I have any leftover bombs? I think is the real question. So, uh, let's get one of those. Uh, hmm. Let's come a little, little bit forward there. 
And then let's see if I can attach... <sighs> can I attach bombs to this or something? Or is that? am I thinking about it the wrong way? Do I have bombs? I may not have explosives. I might have used them all. No, there's one. So I... Take this. No. No, not, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna select the material to throw. How do you just hold something? This might be, this not, okay, hold on, hold on. We got this, we got this. Wait, I have, wait, 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 wait. I have these uh, fire flame emitter. That could be cool. Let me see, uh, so I do want one of these. Let me just take, take this out. And if I want it to work how I think it should work, we're gonna put this back here. And that'll push it that way. Um, I think the question is going to be, can I can I actually do what I'm thinking of doing, or is this just going to be a waste? So I take this, just hold it. Can I stick it there? Well, that doesn't quite work. Wait a second, hold on. Let's see. Let's see if I can This might be a, a step too far. But if I take something like this, you know, a uh, rusty shield and then I infuse, I fuse uh the rusty shield. Wait, how do I infuse the bombs though? Yeah, fuse the rusty shield with this. Right? And then I can take out, I can drop this. This may not work at all, but it's an idea that I have. This might not work at all. Uh, I don't even know if I need this, but this may not work. <laughs> this might just not do anything. It may not go off, is what I'm saying. Go get him. Go get him. <laughs> didn't do anything. <laughs> He's like, what? <laughs> Why did I think that was going to work? He's just like, huh? <laughs> He's just like, okay, can I go back to sleep, please? Oh, shoot. He sees me for real. Oh, it... Wait, it... Did it not blow up? Oh, God. Uh... Uh, where's my bow? I only have one bow? Uh, hold on. This is a Hinox. What is he doing? No, 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 don't pick up the tree, dude. Oh, got your eye. Then what happens? Oh, I, I run. Then I climb him. Oh, shoot. <laughs> he got up. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Can I climb him now? Do I climb him? Yep, got him. Cool. I'm out. That was barely anything, dude. Dude, he's still out here. Uh, okay, so, what other weapon? I have better weapons. Why don't? Why not just use this? Uh, hey, buddy. All right, let's go. Take. Yeah, oh shoot! I'm. He has like a sword on him. Well, this is this is probably gonna work in my favor, right? But wait, I could actually... No, don't whistle at him. Stop it. Okay, I could actually... Uh, let's see what else. I could do... Uh, I mean, those look pretty good. Let's, let's do something I have more than one of. Uh, I could do... Uh, yeah, I could do a Bokoblin horn, maybe, and just go BAM in his freaking eye. No! What are you guys doing here? Ow! Shoot! No! Stop! Stop! 
hate you guys. They're looking for their heads, I think. Right, nailed it. This is classic way to fight him. He seems a little confused. What's that thing on top of his head? How is it not hurting him? Nope, don't cover that up. Stop it, stop. Oh, shoot! What? Oh, my, oh no! I hit a dead end. Hey, buddy, I see you coming at me. This is my last bow. Oh, crap, it's gone. What are you picking up, my dude? Now I don't have a bow. Uh, hold on. Where'd that rock go? Where'd the rock go? Th yeah, throw that at me, please. Throw that at me. Not, not right now. In a second. Throw it at me in a second. What is this? Oh, a toasty shroom. Nice. Are you gonna throw that at me? What are you doing? Oh god. Uh, what is he doing? I don't have a bow. This sucks. There's one of those rabbits. Uh, let's do ultra hand maybe. Look, it's gonna it's gonna fall on you. Dang it. That didn't do anything. What about recall? Rewind. Maybe it'll hit him. Maybe it'll hit him. You think it'll hit him? No! Did that rock hit him? <laughs> that rock didn't hit him at all. You should go back and get hit by that rock, dude. I thought maybe it would. Stop it. Just stop it. Can you can you go back again? Hold on, let's see. Alright, go get him. Go get him. <laughs> this sucks, dude. Oh, I can throw stuff. I forgot I can just throw stuff. So, what I would do is I would hold this and then hit this, and I can just throw fire at him, right? Well, we have fire. We have uh, these fire fruits. Nailed it. Totally got him. Here, stop whatever you're doing. Oh, this is obnoxious. Oh, cancel. Take that. Take that. Oh my god. I, I feel like there's a way to make this. Like, like, hit him. Hit him with it. Hit him with it. Go get him. Dang, that didn't work at all. Oh, a tree. Oh no. Alright, what's going back to where it was? I don't have any bows. That's the, that's the hard part about this, is I don't have bows. Get out of here. Oh, that's not an axe. Oh, shoot. Help. I need to eat. Uh, this is a simmered fruit. This is a meat skewer, which I could eat later. This is a toasted shroom, which I just picked up. All right, you know what? You know what? Oh, those guys chasing me. Hold on. I got moves. I got moves. Oh, come on. He doesn't know what's hitting him right now. Got him. Freaking got him. He was too distracted. I beat a Hinox. Hey, there's another bow. Traveler's bow. Thank you. So we had some palm fruits, some volt fruits. That fight took a little bit too long. Hinox tooth, Hinox toenail, Hinox horn, toenails, horns, all that stuff. Traveler's claimer, there we go. All right, well we, we beat him. <laughs> easy. <laughs> Maybe not so much easy as it is. I I mean, I was trying like new things. I've seen things where you can like make objects like move around and hit them, you know, just based on recall. But I haven't I I haven't really looked into how to do that. So I mean, I don't know. 
Let's uh, fuse this rock up here. Now, how do I get that guy? I forgot what I'm supposed to do to get that guy. Uh, uh, let's fuse. Let's infuse, I guess. Fuse. There you go. Sure. Now, what am I supposed to do with this up here? I totally don't remember. Am I supposed to shoot it with an arrow? Most definitely not. Yikes! Most definitely not. I don't remember how to deal with those things. I'll figure it out later at a later time. Hmm. What's up, dude? Uh, These bulb bubble frog creatures are supposed to live in caves, yeah? Uh, Whoa! Don't scare me like that. My poor heart can't take it. Are you by chance looking for bubble frogs too? That's right. Uh, I knew it. They must have asked you too. Supposedly there are creatures called bulb. Uh, bubble frogs that live in caves. They're bluish and whitish and stick to walls. Odd stuff. Ah. And those two folks at Woodland Stable in Northeast Eldon, curious pair, very strange, maybe a little off. They're looking for something the bubble frogs dropped. They asked me to do the collecting. So, did they ask you too? Ah. They offered treasure in exchange. Good treasure. It was a sweet deal. At least it would have been. But I don't know the first thing about cave creatures. The treasure was awful appealing, though. So, are you telling me? Oh, there's a butterfly I missed. If I go in here, oh, actually, wait. This is ah. Uh. What? What? You got your hands on a bubble gem? You had the courage to not only go in a cave but to face down a strange creature. You're a brave one, that's for oh. sure. If you manage to get your hand on a bubble gem, you should try to find those two oddballs of the Woodland Stable and in, in Elden to the northeast. The, those fellows are real frenzy to find those gems. I bet you'll find them in the cave near the stable. Oh. I heard them talking about some rare treasure they had. I think it was a mystic robe or something like that. Yeah, might not be a bad idea to go to see them. See, this is X marks the spot. There, there is a treasure here. I don't know if, if it's exactly the same as they're talking about, but maybe. Let me go in here. Should I go in here? There is a discovery, a North Hyrule Plain Cave. Oh, shoot. Two worms, though? Uh, Whoa, there could have been a pit there. I would have just died. Uh, Do I want to do, do this right now? Let's attach a material, maybe a fire fruit. It's got to be a bomb then, right? Which sucks, because I mean, like, it, or it does have to be a bomb. Is it some? Could it be something else? I don't know. Let's try uh, something a little more sharp, like a soldier construct horn. Dude, I don't know how to beat these guys. I'm out. I don't know how to beat them without, you know. Well, let me see. What, what happens if I just kind of block? How about we pull out our shield? I have a flame emitter shield. Whoa! Let me go! Ugh. Stop it. I'm trying to leave. That flame emitter shield did not work, by the way. I thought it might. But I think now I understand how this works, where if they just wait to, to show me that sweet fruit of theirs. Nailed it, absolutely got him with that, Total, totally. You got it, dude. You understand how it works. Uh, okay, let's see. Show me again, show me again. Are you joking, kidding me? No! Oh shoot, the other one ate, ate me. Let me go, 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 let me let me eat. Uh meat skewer, eat that. Let me get out of here. I'm running low on weaponry, so. Ugh. Yeah, the, there is gonna be a problem here, isn't there? Um Bokoblin horn, let's see. I don't have many arrows left. Dang it. Dang it. How did he reach me? This is killing me, dude. I'm trying to get out of here quickly. How many of these do I have, by the way? Oh, 
Dude, what? Did I, did I not get him? Oh, I got the other thing, though. Here, I need to eat something else. Um, veggie and rice balls, eat those. I thought I got him, but I guess I, so that one killed him really quick. I don't have many more. Uh, more weapons, please, no. More weapons, more weapons, more weapons. Uh, sure. Uh, all right, fine. One more time, one more time. Let's see it. I don't have many arrows left. Let's do this. Got him. And they drop treasure, which is awesome. Rock salt, great. Like, like stones. And Traveler's Shield, sure. All right, I need more uh, arrows, I suppose. Oh, guess what, guess what? I get to use this. I get to use this, Ascend. Let's go. Um. Okay, here's gonna be maybe an issue. I don't know if I can, I know I can walk, I can swim through this. A lot of frogs here. There's some bombs down there too. Ew. Hot footed frog, baby. Tireless frog. Bomb flower, what kind of frog are you? Hot footed. Some sort of oh shoot! What the heck is that? Oh no! No no no! Don't whistle! What the freak, dude? Help, dude! I don't. I'm not prepared for this. Oh my god. Uh no, no. Okay, fine. Stop! Dang it! Ow! Dude, get out of here! What is this? Okay, hold on. Let me uh let me put fire on it. I guess I don't know. What the heck? That was not good enough. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. I don't have a weapon out? What is happening here? Gotcha. Horriblin horn. Wow. I hadn't seen that before. Let's get a uh, rusty halberd stick. I hadn't seen that yet. Oh, wow. What is that thing jumping around? Hopefully there's no more of those in here. Glowing cave fish. I don't mean to keep clicking the same things. This is a fun little cave. I knew it wouldn't be just a direct trip to the uh, other thing. Are there any more frogs over here? Oh wow, what's that? Bright cap, a mushroom that glows in caves, cook it to glowing effect anyone who eats it. Will probably be useful if I, uh, you know. Are we at a dead end? Oh no, it goes up. All right, or, or no, wait, it goes. Wait, what? That's where I came from. Oh yeah, so it does go up. What am I looking at over there? There we go. That's what I'm looking for, I think. I don't have a lot of arrows. Well, okay. Oh, got the frog. And I got the booble gem. Awesome, so I have four total. Uh, can I just get out of here? Let's see. Can I just, can I just ascend out of here? Indeed I can. Awesome, and there's a stable and a shrine. Awesome, awesome, awesome. 
I feel like this episode is going my way so far. What in the world is that? What is up, dude? Lady Impa? Hmm? Ah, Link. I've heard that you and Princess Zelda have gone missing. I'm thrilled to see you alive and well. But where's Princess Zelda? Yeah, I know. It's always... You're disappointed to see me, huh? I see. So Princess Zelda's whereabouts are still unknown, you say? Since that is the case, Link, I encourage you to go speak with Lady Impa. Yeah, Impa, I've missed her. Where is she? She's all the way over there. Okay. She's right over there. I believe she may have some useful information that relates to the search for Princess Zelda. Impa and the geoglyphs. Okay, I will do that. Um, Not much of a wagon. What's up with you? Yeah. Oh, a customer. Hi there, and welcome to New Serene Stable. I'm kind of in the middle of something, but if you'd like to use the stable, you can go up to the counter. What are you up to? <laughs> <laughs> well, since you asked. <laughs> After a long, tireless search, I found a wagon to call my own. Look at this butte. Mm. Okay, yes, clearly it's a fixer-upper, but I can replace the missing wheels using building materials from the stable. Then I just have to catch a wild horse to hook the wagon up to, and I'll be set. Building materials? Okay. There's a stash of unused building materials at every stable. Now, no two st stashes will have the exact same materials, uh -huh. but they do have one thing in common. They're open for everyone to use, no questions asked. Wild horse? Uh -huh. If you catch a wild horse, you can make it your own. There are lots of them around here, and as a matter of fact. It's hard to catch them, though. You have to crouch down and sneak up on them, or they'll run away. Even after you do catch one, you'll have to soothe the horse or you'll get thrown off. I always mess that part up. Fine, don't offer to help. Yeesh. Do I look like I can fix a horse-drawn wagon on my own? It's not as if I want to pay you back and give you all my savings, in fact. Well, hey, I'll help you. I'll help you. Horse dreams. Oh, can you pet the doggy? Can I not pet the dog? I'm not going to. No, I'm not going to. No. <laughs> get away with that. All right, let's see what's, what's going on here. So, um, obviously I need to see Lady Impa, but whoa, 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 oh, no. Is there anything in this well? Oh, shoot, there is. <laughs> I'm not going to go in. Probably there is. I don't know if there is. There might be. Oh, wow. Flint. Wood. What's up, dude? Do you need something? If so, you'd better, uh, you're be you'd are be better off asking a stable worker for help. I'm just a visitor. My older brothers have been arguing incessantly about where to go next. It's exhausting. I get so tired of listening to them that I had to seek refuge out here. I don't put much faith in either legends or rumors, but more than that, I find the caves and fallen ruins caused by the upheaval to be much, much more interesting area of study. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Good for you. Can I just take a horse real quick? What are you doing sweeping out here? Still not used to this place. Hi. Hello, welcome to Rito's Stable. No, that's not right. I meant to say New Serene Stable. Hi. Yeah, sorry. I just moved over here from Rito Stable, so I keep saying the wrong name. Rito Stable? Oh. It was a stable much like this one, but in front of the Rito Village to the west of here. The big cold snap shut it down, though. Uh. I think it was replaced by a newspaper company or something. Hebra was always cold, but it's gotten really bad. If you go to Rito Village, you'll need to prepare for extreme weather. What? Oh, by the way, please take this. Spicy elixir, thank you for helping me prepare for the extreme weather. I don't need it anymore, so oh. if you'd like to use the stable, please talk to the shopkeeper at the center counter. I like to do a lot of things. Uh, we're just kind of, What's up, dude? Oh. Let's see. What's in the issue of Lucky Clover Gazette? What's the news? Oh. Freezing temperatures bring feathery shivers to the Rito. Rito Village is facing a food shortage as cold winds make travel to the village dangerous for resident and visitor alike. Uh. That's awful. It sounds like anyone trying to get to the Rito Village needs to prepare themselves for a harsh, freezing mm. winter. There's so much to read in these papers. Other stories? Uh. Blood Moon brings d dangerous nights. Be wary, dear readers, on nights when a blood moon rises, so too do monsters that have been defeated. Mm. Huh, this reminds me of that researcher who was studying the blood moon. They were really excited to visit a monster fort and examine the rela relationship between the monsters and the blood moon. I hope they're doing okay. I don't know if they'd be able to hold their own in a fight. Mm. There's so much to read in these newspapers. I'll leave you be. <laughs> I'll leave you be. Well, I'll let you go. Uh, let's help with this, I guess. Uh, so, can I just start? You know what? It's actually prepped up nicely. It needs wheels at the very least. So, how about use a couple of wheels really quick and uh, use my little ultra hand glue. They might have this one be easy for me, but let's see how it goes. Hey, watch it. You watch it. Is it done? It's done. Huh? What? It? It's fixed? Life savings, please.
What is happening? Okay, cool. It's a black screen. Okay, there we go. It's fixed! Did you do this for me? Thank you so, so much. It's like a brand new wagon with wheels and everything. Now I'm only one step away from my dream of having a horse-drawn wagon. Of course, that last hurdle is the hardest, catching a wild horse. As soon as I get near a wild horse, it runs off. How am I going to catch one? Well, you want me to catch one. Whoa, the, the wagon's actually running off on you. Uh, okay. Where are the wild horses? That's the real question. Because if, if I don't know where they are, what's that over here? It's a broom. Wooden mop. I don't know if I need that. Where are the wild horses? That's the real, I mean, that's the real trick here, isn't it? To find a wild horse? You want me to tame one and then bring it to you? I mean, there's just some in the stable, obviously. There's one way over there. I'll go get it. And then I'll go see Impa. I don't know which horse she's gonna want, honestly. Uh, what's going on? Oh, I thought, thought I saw someone here. Let's go get, the, let's go get a horse. I don't know, I mean, we're in some sort of like a crop circle. Oh wow, what the heck? How? I'm just gonna get a horse. It's just a horse. How hard can it be to tame a horse? I used to do it all the time. Got me a cricket. That's easy enough to get a cricket, right? All right, come on horse. Try to walk even slower. I don't know if any horse is like particularly like better than the other. I'm I'm going real slow for this horse. Mount. I'm on. I'm on. Soothe. Calm down. Calm down. I'm slamming it. I think I got a horse. I think I got a freaking horse. I'm soothing it. All right, let's slow down. There we go. I think I'm doing the right thing. Right, let's go a little bit. Let's go a little bit. We'll, we'll All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're, we're doing this stuff. Hey, doggy, I got a horse. Alright. Get you a horse. I just stole a horse for you. I mean, he used to be a free horse. Now he works for us. Did you catch this angel for me? It's just what I pictured perfect for pulling my wagon. All yours. Huh? You mean that? You'd really part with such a wonderful horse? Life savings, please. Thank you. Wow, who knew this stuff like this really happened? I'm so, so happy. I'll just go ahead and put a harness on it. A harness? Hi. A harness is a piece of equipment that you can put on horses you own. With a harness, you can connect your horse to a wagon or an item you need to take somewhere. If you collect enough pony points, you can even give, you can get one as a prize. <laughs> Are you a stable member? No, then by all means, go up to the stable counter and register for a membership. So bear with me a moment. All right. Life savings, please. And we're all set. Very cool. Uh -huh. I can't believe it. A wagon of my own and a beautiful horse to pull it. To think I started with that old piece of junk and ended up with this. Amazing. <laughs> Thank you so, so, so much. Here, it's all I have left after buying the wagon. I'm begging you no, forcing you to take it, please. 100 rupees. Nice. Uh -huh. I now have 220 rupees. Oh, that's right. There's one last order of business. What's your name? My name's Link. Uh -huh. Link? Hmm. Zumi. Link. Maybe Zuli or Lumi? What about Zunk? Oh, she's thinking about a kid name. <laughs> I call this... Oh, dang it. <laughs> I call this wagon Zunk. <laughs> I promised... <laughs> okay, <what was> Zunk? <laughs> I promised to look after Zunk for as long as I live. <laughs> Feel free to come visit the two of us anytime. <laughs> so, horse drawn dream side quest complete. Anything else? Hi. Oh, Link, did you come to check on Zunk? Since you worked so hard to make it, I, my wagon complete, I promise I'll never, ever let anything happen to it. But is that all you wanted or did you need something from me? Mm. I may not be of much help unless you want to hear something I know about horses. Tell me about horses. Mm. Hmm, let's see. I think you know how to catch them by sneaking up quietly from behind. <laughs> oh, did you know you can tell a horse's temperament from the pattern on its pelt? 
Horses with spots are docile and easier to catch and tame. Uh, that makes them easier to catch. Sorry, I misread that. Ones that are one color with no patterns tend to be wilder and more difficult to tame, but they're faster and stronger and you can spur them on more. Good to know, right? I'm kind of an expert on horses, so if you want to learn more, just ask. Teehee. I won't reveal all my secrets at once. You got to keep them coming back. <laughs> well, if we have a kid, you can name him uh, Lumi. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, sun's about to go down. Let's go ahead and check out. I'll go visit Impa. I will. I'll leave that for last. I want to. I, I do want to see Impa. What's up? Ah. Welcome to my stable. We deal in all things horse related. We also double as an inn. Hmm, seems you're not a member yet. Oh. Our stable uses the stable association's membership system, so you'll need to register if you want to use it. May I ask your name? It's Link. Ah. All right, Mr. Link. There. You're all signed up. Now, would you like to tell me about your the stable system? Tell me. Why not? Ah. Then allow me to explain. You can board your horse companions with us and then summon them as you please from our network of stables. You may have come across wild horses during your travels. Oh. If you catch one and ride it here to register it, it will become your horse companion. There's a limit on how many horses you can board, but you're able to swap them in and out as you please. Ah. Once again, welcome to our stable. If you catch a wild horse and bring it here, you can register it. If you want to lodge with us, please visit the counter inside. Now, can I help you? Goodbye. Wait, what am I thinking? I completely forgot to explain how pony points work. Pony points, that's right. It's a reward system you can use at the stables. In short, every time you use a service, you get points. No matter what stable you go to, you can get points for lodging there, registering a horse, stuff like that. Without further ado, since this is your first time visiting New Serene Stable, you get a pony point. Nice, my pony points card. Save up points during a wagon load of wonderful rewards for you and your horse companions. All right. Ah. You can trade your pony points for prizes at the ledger counter over there. Check out the ledger for prize details, member rules, and other information. Oh. Come back again anytime. So, I kind of want to, you know, kind of sleep until the morning or whatever. Uh, oh, hey, you! Yeah. He's like, hey, hey, are you a fellow traveler on the journey of life? It's me, Beetle. If you forget. You forget my beetle-shaped pack is right here to remind you. Wow. In this topsy-turvy world, there's only one direction to go, forward. So when I travel, it's forward all the way. I can sell you bugs of the highest quality. And if you need anything else on your life journey, I can sell you that too. Short on rupees, don't worry. I'll buy anything you don't want, weighing you down. <laughs> and what better way to lighten up that uh, than to sell your rocks? Gemstones in particular fetch a high price. Ah. Well, well, what'll it be? Let's see what he has. Okay, let's use fire fruit, arrows. Type. Okay, cool. Tyler's frogs are worth a lot. Holy cow. Um, thanks for your business. Do you need anything else? Uh, look what I've got. Uh, those frogs. I mean, they're not as good when I sell them. <laughs> but they are quite valuable. Um, all right. I don't want to sell or buy anything at the moment. So I'll just say goodbye. Um, what else is going on over here? Is this like a side quest? Work in progress. Do not touch. It's not a side quest. What is this? Is this a recipe? It looks like a recipe. I can sleep in a bed and tell... Ah. What's up, you two? <sighs> a legendary weapon, you say, Anya. Give that a little more thought. Things with legendary in the title are usually just stories. There's simply no way it exists. Mm -hmm. But that rumored beast you're after, that's just... That's what? Just a story? <laughs> no, no. Go to any stable in Hyrule and you'll find people excited about the rumored beast. Stables are places where information gathers. If it weren't true, you, you wouldn't hear about it in so many stables. <sighs> Even if I grant you that, we don't stand to gain anything by finding this rumored beast. A legendary weapon, on the other hand, is bound to be strong indeed. We would have nothing to fear of monsters. <laughs> and what if this weapon is legendarily brittle and useless, hmm? Let's start visiting stables to gather information and track down that rumored beast. You guys want to talk to me? Oh. Okay. <coughs> now they're arguing again. I don't know if they're going to talk to me. What's up, dude? Ah. Oh, you're just on the other side. Do you want to lodge with us? A regular bed? Gosh, dang. What's a Melania bed? What? Ah. If you sleep in a Melania bed, not only will you wake up more energized, Melania the horse god may also share a mystical message. <laughs> this makes it a very popular choice among our lodgers. But we don't offer such luxury to just anyone. Only customers with at least seven pony points can use Melania beds. Now then, once again, a regular bed. Never mind. I'm okay. Oh. Come back anytime. Do let's look at these pony points. Uh, receive reward. What, what do I get? Yeah. Ah, yes. I'll be right with you. Um, uh. pony points. Yeah, sure. Save up two. Uh. You'll receive a towing harness. Very useful item. So we appreciate your patronage. So what else we got here? Read the ledger. Uh, points and rewards. 
All right, so I don't. Okay, never mind. So I, I I've heard that it saves your horse from last time. I don't know. Come over this way. How do I? Ah. Uh, register horse. I don't have any horses. The invisible horse routine. I'm crying invisible tears of mirth. How about you stop kidding around and go catch a horse? Hmm? You've entrusted... Oh, huh? According to our books, you entrusted a horse to us once before. Apologies. I'll go ahead and register any horse that you've had before. Just a moment. Huh. Anything else? Take horse. Oh. Wow. Okay, so I have Epona, Lightning, and Big Pona. Do you remember these guys? Lightning, my bond with lightning was was great. That's the horse that got struck by lightning last game. Epona, obvious, you know who that is. Uh, these are both really, really great horses. Uh, and then there's Big Pona. <laughs> my bond isn't super strong with this one. So, um, I guess, I mean, lightning. I, I like lightning. I remember lightning. Um, it's still a wild horse. Wow, yeah, but Epona is like a perfect tour. So I don't know. Who do I do? I I, I don't I don't want to take anyone out yet. I think I'm. I, I don't know. I mean, the horses will always go back to the to the stable, right? Part of me wants to stay here because it'll get me. You know, it'll it'll do something. It'll get my pony points up. I'm gonna go talk to uh, Impa, I suppose. Let's go talk to Impa really quick and see what Impa has to say. And then I'll do the shrine. I'll end on the shrine. Can't believe Impa's here. It's been a long time. <laughs> surprise. What is it meant to depict? <sighs> what a surprise to see you here after all this time, Link. Impa, the Sheikah Elder. I heard you had gone missing. It, it is certainly a relief to see you back and in one piece, more or less. Mm. And Princess Zelda, where is she? Yeah, you know, you know the story. Oh. What? She still has yet to return? In that case, we must use all available means to search for her. Link, when Princess Zelda went missing, something else happened all over Hyrule. During the upheaval, huge pictures appeared out of nowhere. Images that sprawled across fields and hills. Oh. We are calling them geoglyphs. I understand they have been found in locations across the kingdom. Kato and I are traveling from region to region in hopes of seeing them all. Yeah. I noticed this geoglyph from a distance while I was standing on high ground. Examining up close, I could not make out what I depicted. Though I might have a better view from up in the sky. I took to the air in this balloon Pura gave me, and then, alas, the wind struck and completely sheared the balloon off the base. I have racked my brain for ways to reattach the two parts to no avail. But I have the solution. And the solution is for me to use this. This is a really cool thing. Uh, let me rotate it better than it is. There you go. Fixed, I think. Hmm. Oh, you fixed my balloon. Thank you, Link. Will you come with me to look at the geoglyph then? Sure. Oh. Time to head out then. Oh, I nearly forgot. Would you mind doing one final thing for me? What is it? Light, light a fire there and the balloon will start to float. Then we can be on our way. All right, let's do it. There's a way to do it with flint or something. Oh, let me grab this mushroom. Uh, so we're kind of heading out at night, which is a little weird, I, th I guess. But uh, let me... I'm, I'm sure I have... Uh... Hold on. Oh, no. I have a fire fruit. Oh, God! Oh, okay. No, wait for me! Uh... <laughs> Come back down. Oh, what happened? Has something gone wrong? Maybe we should head back in solid ground. Never mind. I know I can count on you. Wait for me. Okay, here we go. Yes. Good. Higher. Okay, what is this? <laughs> Too high up. I feel faint. This looks like uh, Raru. But finally, we can see it. The geoglyph. Well done, Link. You know, I read something in the village's old literature, a passage about what the ancients called dragon tears, where the tears rest upon the earth. We marked down the images to which they gave birth. Oh. I believe this geoglyph is one such image, but even from this vantage, its meaning is no clearer to me, nor can I figure out what dragon's tears might mean. So I I don't know either. Is there something there to collect? Like, like if there's a tear, like that's all, it's like, 
You see, you see there's a tear on him, right? That's shaded in, maybe that one's a tear. But you know, if the literature is correct, one of them should be quite close near the geoglyph or even within its borders. Yeah. Would you look around? This could be the clue we need to discover Princess Zelda's whereabouts. Oh. If you would like to examine the geoglyph from the ground level, you can float down with the paraglider. No need to worry about me, I can manage a simple landing. All right, cool. That was fun. So she can manage the landing. You see how there's one white tier? Uh, the, the one tier that's kind of painted white. There's also a tear on his hand. So those are my two options, I think. So let's just go. Let's just glide over here. So she's going to manage the landing, supposedly. And... <laughs> nope. Dive. Glide. See, see, see the tear that's like shaded in? I think it's this. Oh, wow. What is this? What the heck is this? Examine. Oh, my hands lit up. Here we go. Wow. What is this? Is it like a memory or something? Like I think it's a memory of, of Zelda. Is this when what? she is this when she fell? Raru. Where am I? We didn't mean to startle you. I'm sorry. It's okay. My name is Sonia. And could we ask what your name is? I... I am the daughter of King Rome of Hyrule. Zelda. What an unexpected answer. We are the king and queen who founded Hyrule after all. Or at least we were the last time I checked. You two founded Hyrule? And you're the king? Mm. My name is Raru. King Raru of Hyrule. There we go. Raru and Queen Sonia? Uh, but that must mean... That you're way back in time. <laughs> okay. That's a cool memory. Thanks for the memories. <laughs> awesome. It's dry now. <laughs> All right. So we got. Okay, cool. Where am I? That's a new memory. That was a fun memory. Impa and the geoglyphs complete. There's probably more geoglyphs though, right? I've seen them. Aww. Link, you look distracted. What's wrong? Well, let me tell you what I just saw. Oh. Goodness, you say you had a vision? Saw mysterious figures? And then Princess Zelda? Hmm. The geoglyphs, the literature, the dragon's tears, and now a vision of the lost princess? What if these are all connected? Let us continue to examine the geoglyphs. They may contain further clues that lead to Princess Zelda. Mm -hmm. You know, according to the literature, there is something to do with geoglyphs in the Forgotten Temple. The Forgotten Temple lies at the bottom of the canyon in Hebra. I think we should make our way there soon. All right, well, that sounds fun and all, but I'm also on a different mission. I mean, like, everyone's searching for Zelda in, like, a different way. So that's interesting. I don't know. So I saw, like, there was, like, a thing in his hand, like a tear in his hand. I don't know what it means exactly, but I'm gonna go check it out because it had there was like a stone on it, and I don't know if like I pick it up, Korok. That's my first thought. Oh no, the Blood Moon! So scary when this happens. 
Uh, pick up. Korok, I was right. Yeah, ha ha, you found me. And got a Korok seed as well. Bye bye. Oh. <laughs> oh dear. Um. So yeah, I understand the the moon or whatever. I kind of want to sleep past. I kind of want. I mean, it's expensive, but I want to sleep. Cause I need pony points. I need pony points, don't I? I also need to do uh, the shrine. I think I'm gonna go in and do the shrine. Uh, will sleeping heal me? Probably. But also the shrine will heal me. Unless it's like a combat shrine, then I could die in it. Um, let's consider sleeping. I know it's expensive now, especially so early in the game, but I want my pony points. And the blood moon's coming up. I kind of want to skip it. <laughs> this is talk. Yeah. Still up and about after sundown, huh? Uh -huh. Welcome to the stable. Do you want to lodge with us? Yes. Okay. Yeah. A regular bed, please. Oh. A regular bed. We would like. To, uh, would you like a sleepover ticket? What is that? Please note that if you do, you won't get any pony points. No, I'll pay. Okay, I'll pay. I'll pay. I want uh -huh. the pony points. Wake me up at noon. <laughs> I'm sleeping in. <laughs> <laughs> this is like the story of my life. I'm sleeping in big time. I, I don't know if I could sleep very well in an open tent like this. Where people's yeah. When the glow of the blood-stained moon shines upon the land. This is so scary. I'm gonna. I'm gonna watch. Actually, I don't need to watch it. We've seen this. We've seen this. We've seen. <laughs> All right. There we go. Ah, uh, good afternoon. Sleep well. Thanks for watching. We present you with one point. Good. Next reward is uh, one more point. Great. Mm. Uh, let's do the shrine and then we'll end the episode. One thing I want to do um, before we... I mean, I, I want to do Amiibos. I want to do that. I don't know when it's going to be. It might be epi is ep next episode 10. Oh, man. I don't know when it's going to be. I want to I want to scan a bunch of amiibo. Maybe I'll do it episode 11. I don't know. I really don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll figure out when the best time to do it is, and we'll scan in a bunch of. I have a I have all the Zelda amiibo, all of them. We'll scan them all in. I know I need to scan them in like daily or something in order to get multiple re rewards. I'll probably end up doing a lot of the scanning off camera once we scan them once. You know what I mean? So. All right. Let's figure out what this one's all about. An uplifting device. That tells me balloons. Which seems... Well, what are those little green markings for up there? Is there any like way to break through that? I don't know. Um, so, we're, well, geez, what the heck, what the heck? Okay, so we're dealing with... <laughs> don't look up when you're just moving forward. Um, okay, so we're dealing with balloons. I mean, this is probably going to be super easy since balloons are seemingly easy. We just learned about them, though. Who knocked this over? There you go. You're welcome. And that clearly doesn't isn't what we need. Um, let's go with this. A thick, a thick boy. Let's put it in the middle, I suppose. And assuming we can attach the balloon on top of it, we should be good to go. I want it to go like right on. Can I slip it over? Like, I just. Can you go? Whatever. It's perfect. Wait, wait, wait for me. Wait for me. No. Oh, gosh. Uh. I'm back. No, no. Okay, you know what? Recall. Coming back down. <laughs> I said it was going to be easy. All right, we're going back up. And let's go back to Alter Hand. I wonder if I can just take it with me. Like, as soon as I get here, I'll just take it with me for whatever the next puzzle is. Okay, I don't, I don't think I need. Okay, I don't think I need to take it with me. But what do we have here? Some sort of a gate. I bet I can ascend. Hold on, ascend. 
What is that? Is that like a spot for me to go through to ascend? Whoop, wrong button. Go! And exit. There's got to be a treasure around here, right? Um... I don't see the treasure. Is that, wait, is that a button? Hold on, that might be just a button. Hold on, uh, sorry, I keep hitting the wrong, the wrong buttons. Uh, no, here, just look up here. Come back, I need you. It'll be easier than making a new one, probably. I actually don't know if that's true, but maybe. And then, give me that. Wait, what do I do? Hold on. No, don't burn it. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> there, we, there we go. I don't need to make a new one. This one's here for me. Now, I actually thought that might happen. There we go. Perfect. Now, I don't think I could take that with me through here, so. But I haven't found a treasure yet. Let's see, hold on, is there? No, I haven't, no, I haven't found a treasure yet. Oh wow, this is a big room. What the heck? Dude, where's the treasure? Oh my gosh, oh wow. Um. Wow, uh, okay. Maybe the treasure's just at the end. Oh, I keep doing the wrong thing. Oh, God, no, I just, I just, <laughs> I meant to glide. Uh, whoa, what the heck is this? Something to open this, oh, there's a treasure, okay. What? Okay. All right. Glide, please. Thank you. There's definitely fire. That's a big ball. So I somehow have to get the big ball up there. Probably to get the treasure. Oh dear. The small ball sounds like it'll be pretty easy. But the big ball is going to take some big, big effort. <laughs> so, some big effort to get that big ball. Um, okay. Uh, right. So. Maybe, I mean, oh dear. Um, what all do we have to work with here? We got some balloons, we got this. We got, uh, is this enough to carry a ball? I'm gonna guess probably not, but this, this is a lot of fire. This might be enough to propel it up to a certain point. And then what? Oh, maybe I roll the ball up there. You think? Maybe. Jeez, I really don't know. Oh wow, that's a lot of fire. Uh, I'm going to assume this is too heavy. I'm just gonna assume this is way too heavy for this. But let's try it. Let's try it, let's see. Uh, this is probably not gonna work. Uh, but we'll, again, we'll see. I just can't imagine this going like this. What the heck do I do? Okay, I'm, I'm gonna, of course, try like multiples and see if multiples will do the trick. Oh, I think they will. Hold on, attach it, attach it over here then. Okay, that's going, that's going. Let's let's just uh, ascend. Okay, I thought I'd have to have all four, but maybe not. Cause I'm gonna grab that ball as soon as I can. Here it comes. This seems pretty effective. Uh, let's get ready to grab that ball. 
we're, we're gonna just grab the whole thing. <laughs> Bring it. There we go. Unstick. This ball needs to come in here. There you go. That'll get me the treasure. And I hope this is the only treasure here. Let's see, what do we get? Opal! I've never done this in real life before, so sometimes like when it's presented to me in a video game, I find it a little bit difficult. So, that's the only only thing here. Um, let's... <laughs> this is gonna be easy, probably. I probably don't even need, yeah, I pro it's probably just gonna be the same thing, where I, I take the ball, I attach it, boom, attach a balloon. I mean, there's so many things to learn in this game. This game is so much different than Breath of the Wild. Uh... <laughs> okay, let's go, let's go, hold on, hold on. Oh, jeez. I know, ascend, ascend. Come on, get me out, get me out. Uh, this, we're ready for it. Nope. Uh, it's just gonna roll in. Dang it, the balloon blocked it. All right. Totally good. We did a good job. There uh, is another point to be had. So we did two shrines today, right? And we met Impa, and we had a great time. So we're getting a point. Uh, we know that we have our horses back, which is great. So I wanna... I mean, I don't know. We, we could scan Amiibo soon. I don't know when. We'll see when. But uh, I want to see what the next plan is. I want to see what, what we're going to do next. I'm going to try to make it over to where I need to go. I just don't know where I need to go exactly. But I know you guys are, are eager to see the Amiibo, so I'll try to figure out when to slip it in. I know a lot of you commenters have been asking for it, so thank you. Uh, I just don't know when I'm going to pull it off. So... But we're going to move on. Maybe we'll get a tower next episode. We'll get another tower. We'll just move on until we get to wherever we need to go. We did a lot today. We really did. Uh, this game is just chock full of stuff. I love it. Come back next time for more. I will see you then. It's storming. I'm going to go in the, the inn over here and just kind of hunker down. Well, it's just raining. It's not storming. So at least it's not storming. See you next time for more. I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help the channel grow, all you got to do is click the like button below. Thank you so much for watching. You can now join on YouTube and become an official member of Zach Scott Games. And if you want cool shirts like this, visit ZachScott.shop. Come back next time for more.